with this video, I will show you how to integrate uh, Salesforce with the Oracle A Business Suite. Specifically, we will see uh, the creation of the opportunity and this opportunity will raise an event which is got from OIC. OIC creates a sales order into EBS and gives back the information into Salesforce, updating the opportunity with the sales order um, that has been created in EBS. Here we see uh, the um, Oracle Integration Cloud project in which we see two uh, services. The main flow, which is using the Salesforce adapter to get the event, then calls uh, another service, which is uh, creating the sales order into ABS, and then is uh, calling back um, a Salesforce in order to update the opportunity with the, the sales order number. We see here uh, that so far we have uh, run three integration flows and we can go into um, Salesforce to understand exactly what is there. Um, in Salesforce, we have a, a demo POC account, and the last opportunity we have created is Opportunity Demo 3, and we see, we see the details, so we see that the order number 69360 has been created. If we go to a business suite and we search for this order, uh, this sales order, we see uh, that this sales order is present, and uh, okay with this information and so we can open it and we can see all the relevant information of it and uh, um, what we can expect is that the new sales order that will be created will have a, a subsequent uh, sequential number and we can search for it and we see that it is not present okay so we can go into uh, salesforce into Salesforce, uh, we can create a new opportunity. The new opportunity will be, in example, opportunity from demo four, in this case, and uh, it could have a close date like today, uh, a stage like prospecting, uh, some other information, random information I can provide. So I save it. So what is happening? What will happen now is that the event is created. OIC will get the event through the Salesforce adapter, and so we propagate the event to uh, the uh, a business suite. So a business suite will create uh, the sales order. Uh, so creating the sales order, a business suite will create a sales order, gives back the uh, the order number. Let's see if it is there. Uh, so my my one is opportunity from demo four. And uh, okay, I have the new order number here. So everything worked. So we can check into ABS if uh, everything is there, if we have the new order num number there, and we see that the order is there. And so we can open it and we can see the order is existing in ABS. And so let's see what happened in Oracle Integration Cloud. In Oracle Integration Cloud, expect there is a new integration that has been run. This integration has been run just now, as you see. And, um, and so this integration is uh, uh, as the name uh, by the design we have done of the opportunity got from, sales, uh, uh, from Salesforce. And so we see here the anatomy of the integration flow. So there is a trigger event on a trigger event exactly on the start, uh, which starts on an event on the Salesforce adapter. And we can see it. And so what we are doing here, we are getting the event from the streaming APIs. Uh, there are two ways to get the streaming APIs. There are um, uh, stream, streaming API as platform events or change data capture. In this case, I have decided to use the change data capture. I'm capturing the, um, the CBC events uh, for the opportunity. And in this case, I'm interested on the creation, but anything can be selected here. And so uh, the re relevant event type would be sent anyway by um, Salesforce. Um, uh, then we map the relevant information, then we call uh, the sales order, the create sales order service, and back uh, what when we get the information about the sales order number, we update uh, the uh, Salesforce to another uh, option present in the adapter, which is uh, uh, how to create uh, the way to create, update, or delete information. In this case, we are just updating 
the opportunity. And so we are using the opportunity uh, business object and we are updating it. Okay. And um, what uh, um, uh, is happening also, what we I can show you is that on the observe here, uh, on the integrations, uh, we can look also at the uh, sales, the service which is creating the sales order. Uh, this service is uh, uh, then using getting the information from the calling service, main service, and then is using an adapter to EBS. And the adapter to EBS is using uh, the order management suite and uh, up to the sales order service, which is enabled as a REST API into uh, Oracle B a business suite integrated SOA gateway. And so this is exactly what we have done. And um, that's fine. And we can see uh, how the adapter are configured. Uh, this is the Salesforce adapter. Uh, this is a production system and you have to provide the API version, then some other optional properties, which is uh, the instance name of uh, Salesforce. And then in this case, we are uh, providing the username and password, uh, uh, which are uh, uh, ob obfuscated here. Uh, the same for the Salesforce, for, sales, uh, for EBS. For EBS, what we are providing is the uh, connect, uh, connectivity properties. We are providing basic authentication, so username and password. And because EBS uh, is on, uh, we have to resolve it uh, and to access it, its private IP, we are using the connectivity agent there in order, uh, which is called in this case, EBS demo. And um, let's go instead into Salesforce. Into Salesforce, there is a specific setup to be done, uh, which is for, uh, let's search for the platform. Oh, sorry, platform. Uh, platform events. And platform events here, uh, there is a, the, the basic setup for the streaming APIs. What I have decided to do in this demo is to use the change data capture. Uh, so there are there are different objects uh, which are enabled. I have enabled specifically the opportunity business objects in order to get the event. And this is the object that I'm using on the, uh, which is uh, detected by uh, the OIC Salesforce adapter. And um, last part of uh, this, uh, um, the last setup of, which is needed is just to go into ABS integrated SOA gateway and to enable the sales order service with uh, uh, the proper grants for the user that will call uh, the uh, a business suite uh, through the adapter. So thank you so much for your attention and uh, this uh, ends uh, this uh, uh, demo and the video and presentation for uh, the Salesforce to EBS uh, opportunity to say sales order creation uh, demo. Thank you so much.